this video, we're going to show how to create an EC2 instance on Amazon Web Services, also known as AWS. So now I'm logged into my AWS console and I have clicked on this cube here in the top left hand corner to get to all of these services offered on AWS. So I'm going to click on EC2 and there's a create instance section right here. I'm going to click the launch instance button. Now we have several AMIs, which are Amazon's machine images that are available for us to create our instance from. Um, so you can browse through these and you can also get indication whether or not these are free tier eligible. So just check out the documentation on Amazon's free tier program to see if that's something that you're interested in making use of. But for now, I'm going to select this uh, Ubuntu Server 16.04 version and it is free tier eligible. So it's a 64-bit image. I'm going to select that. And now we start going through all of the configurations available for our instance. So here we have all the different types of instances that we can create. They are going in order in terms of the smallest and least powerful instances to the largest and most powerful instances. If you look here, this t2.micro is available for the free tier program. It's got one virtual CPU, one gig of memory. It's got some storage specifications here and also some other specifications um, to look at if you're interested in. So because I want to stay in the free tier program and get and get what I can under that tier, I'm going to use this t2.micro with one gig of memory. All right, and now we'll proceed to the next screen. Now here we have some instance details that we can configure. I've read over these ahead of time and I am fine with accepting all the defaults, but at your leisure you can read over these, and make sure that these settings are correct for you and you can hover over these little informational icons to see uh, what each of these items are if you're unsure about them just based on their title. So now we'll go to the next screen. And this is where we can specify what type of storage and how much storage we'd like. So the default size here is going to be the size of the snapshot image that you chose at the beginning. So in our case, I chose the Ubuntu 16.04 version server. And uh, the size that Amazon has allocated to this snapshot image of that Ubuntu instance is 8 gigs. So you can choose the default or you can go above that. You cannot go below it, however. So if I were to try to assign 4, for instance, here and go to the next screen, then it's going to give me this error here that the volume size must be at least the size of the snapshot, which in this case is 8 gigs. So I'm going to leave it at 8, which is the default. You can always increase the size of your volume after the fact, but once your instance has been created and a volume has been attached to it, you cannot decrease the size um, that was originally specified. So just keep that in mind. Don't specify something too large that you might not use because the larger the volume size, the more you're going to be paying for it. So like I said, you can always increase your volume size later if you need to. So I'm just going to stick with the base 8 gigs here. That that have been assigned to this snapshot image. We'll go to the next screen and this is where you can optionally specify tags for your instance. So the tags are in a form of key value pairs. So Amazon is giving the example here where key equals name and value equals web server. And you can assign these tags to each of your instances if you'd prefer, but I'm not going to do any for mine as of now. All right, we'll proceed to the next screen, which is the configure security group section. So these security groups are basically firewall rules that control the traffic to your instance. So by default, there's just this one rule for SSH over port 22. So this 0.0.0.0 means that any IP can come into your instance over SSH port 22. So you want to take time to review the options for these security groups, read up on what exactly they are, and specify the types that you need here and that meet the security standards for your instance. For now, I'm going to leave mine just as this default here, which is not very secure, but I'm going to go back after the video and configure for the specific IP addresses that I want to be able to access my server along with the specific protocols as well. So they've got HTTP, SSH, SMTP, everything that you can think of in terms of protocols here. Just make sure to go back and review these settings and specify what you need. 
Now the last screen is just reviewing everything that we've configured so far uh, in terms of what AMI we selected, the instance type, storage size, everything is here from all the previous screens that we just went through. So you can take this time to review and make sure that you chose all the correct options. We're also getting this warning up here telling us that we need to improve our instances security. So you can leave it how it is, but it's not recommended because it is insecure. The last thing to do would just be to click this launch button and that would launch your EC2 instance and you can start managing it from the AWS dashboard. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please like, subscribe, suggest, and comment. Thanks for watching.